what's up everybody i uh just ran by a like dollar store kind of place just to check their dumpsters real quick i there's a ton of stuff in here so i don't have any of my diving stuff i don't have my tripod or anything so just bear with me because this footage might not be as steady but i'm gonna try to just get as much as i can so Here's this whole bag of toys. Some of them look like they're broken. Here's a little gnome one. So I'm just gonna take this whole trash bag right here. Looks like this is where most of them are. are my only bags right now. Just these tiny ones. So these are all solar powered little dancers. They were selling for one dollar. box but I'm gonna take one of the boxes so that I can or two of the boxes so I can put them back in just so it looks uh, more professional this one's broken so I'm gonna leave it It kind of looks like they're just getting rid of all of their summer stuff. Oh, look at that. This whole bag is full of stuff. What are these? Oh, so these have been cut. So is that. That's okay. I'm still gonna take this whole bag right here. Here's little, this is a bunch of gardening stuff. Little butterflies. Bunch more little frogs. These little animal with sound. Solar steak. Yeah, this really must just be all their summer stuff. Here's another windmill. Somebody just screamed and that scared me. Ooh, 
luckily it looks like most everything was on the top. There's some stuff that they've broken or popped. Luckily they didn't do that to all of them. So, there's all those things. This little bag has some stuff in it. Yeah, it looks like it was all right on the top. So, there we go. A ton of little solar dancers. I love this gnome one. <laughs> They're so cute. Some of them might be broken, but it looks like a lot of them aren't. And they're cute little kid toys, even if they are broken, especially for the garage sale this weekend. So there you go. I'm gonna shut this dumpster back up. But that's just a quick stop that I was just driving by and I thought, hmm, I'll check theirs. It's pretty good day to check it. So, oh. so here it all is laid out on the table. The majority of these little ones are broken. Their solar panels are missing. So I don't know if they intentionally broke them or if they maybe were just faulty because they're all still wrapped, so I don't know why they would wrap them back up after breaking them. But a few of them work. These ones are just bobbing their heads away. So there's squirrels. There's lots of monkeys back here. There's a few dancing ladies. And there's lots of gnomes over here. And there was this really cute little birdhouse. And this was the only one of the birdhouses that wasn't broken. And it's like pretty much in perfect condition. There's these spinning wheels for your garden. And they did bend the sticks up. Um, to try to make them no longer usable. But this one was a thin one and I just bent it right back. And it's a little bit crooked, but it would definitely still work. So I'll just try to bend these back too. These are just a little bit thicker of metal. These cars right here I actually found at CVS on my way home. I didn't even know CVS sold these types of things. But there's four cool little cars right there. These little butterflies with glass wings. And I guess you just hook it like on a pot, a potted plant or something. Those are really cute. Only one of them was broken and it's missing just one of its glass wings right there. Then all of these are in perfect condition still. They're fully wrapped. They're these little animals that make a sound and it looks like you pull out that white paper right there. This one was unwrapped. So it has like a little clip that you clip maybe on a plant or something. And then I'm gonna pull this out to test it. Ooh. So it definitely works. And they have a little motion detector right on the front there. So that's really cool. All of those work. There's 13 that are still fully packaged, and then the one that's unpackaged. <laughs> These lights I was actually really excited about, but they have cut every cord. And I've seen some videos where divers, like if they find a hair straightener or a curling wand or something more expensive, they have learned how to like solder the cords back together. So that's something I would like to check out in the future, but for something like this, so these are just like a couple dollars for these and that they've cut every single part of the cord. I just don't think it's worth doing it for these. And then these are, this is just like a velvet little ribbon thing for the 4th of July maybe or something. And these three are tablecloths and they're really thick, um, but they have cut them. 
so they sliced them here in the middle on most of them but i think you could even just like cut it fully and just go ahead and cut it in half and then it's still like a four foot long tablecloth so those i think that they tried to ruin but i don't actually think that they're ruined i think that somebody could still definitely use these and just make them a little smaller that bird is still going so there you have it Okay, and then I also wanted to update you guys because I know a lot of you were really curious about the ring that I found in my last video. So I went and I just left the jeweler, I got it appraised, and unfortunately it's not a real stone. So they they got me at first, they were like, this really could be real, it could be like a few thousand dollars for this ring. They thought that it was um, parad, parado, paradise y'all said it in the comments I can't remember how you pronounce it but that stone and they were like it could be a few thousand dollars and I was like okay okay I'll come back so they called and then it ended up just being made of glass so the band is still 14 karat gold um, but the the stone is not real they said I could probably still get about $150 for it and they cleaned it for me and I have it on just to show you guys look at that Seriously, it's so pretty. Oh, and the other thing that they said, they said that it's handmade and um, like a custom design that was handmade and it was probably from the 60s or 70s. So it is vintage, it's handmade, it's real gold. It just is not a real gemstone. But still $150 if I can get that for it, not bad at all. <laughs> was a pretty short video um, but I just wanted to show you guys what I have been up to today and update you on the ring and yeah there you have it so um, if you're around stores right now that are having like discounts on their summer items go and check their dumpster because there's a good chance that they threw it all out and you could get it for free so there you go happy diving and I'll see you next time